Hello, and uh, let us have a closer look at the uh, neck wear by a uh, general knot. As you can look at this, these are all the uh, vintage gate stock fabric, which is from 60 to 70 years. And then the necktie is extremely interesting because you can look at this chambray necktie, it is reversible. One side is in silver gray, the other side is in the chambray blue. Lovely. And then it comes in a uh, limited run of a three out of nine and then i have this amazing don eagle tweed a uh, necktie whereby it comes in purple or lilac or lavender at the color you like it and then the second blade is with a plaid really lovely and this is a run of a three out of 13 it's really very exclusive and i love the labeling Fantastic. And then uh, this is one of my favorite because this is apparently is a dead stock vintage fabric from a, uh, Amsterdam. And then a, uh, it got all the colors, really bright, 
with the crimson red and then also the other side it comes with a chambray blue and it is what they call that cut in a diamond shape of bow tie and also one of my favorite is this particular blue this blue it comes with a frill edge it is really very interesting and then it got the it got the diagonal checks and then the second blade is in this a uh, ornamental a uh, cardinal red fantastic and again the labeling is lovely this is general knot and then this is 16 out of 18. however having said that my most favorite item from general knot whereby i regret that i didn't bought more was the candle this particular candle is called cedar and smoke and this general knot i was really wondering when will general knot be having this a uh, candle again now let me open up and let you have a closer look at this uh, candle This candle is amazing. It's called Cedar and Spoke. And actually, it got a run of, uh, it got four varieties, three or four varieties, whereby I tried this and it is really amazing. I hardly use it nowadays. I only like it on very special occasion. And ever since, you know, General Knot didn't have this candle anymore. And I really regretted for not uh, getting ordered the entire range. And I hope that General Knot will bring it back again. So this is my story. Today, I'd like to share in a can fashion journey whereby I talk about General Knot and Company made in the US of A, whereby the artisan is all from New York and Vermont. And I look forward to see you again in the next episode of a can fashion journey. And should you like my channel, please click the subscribe button. And I look forward to see you in the next episode. Bye.